Hello, we're in Malta. We're doing more pictures today. This painting is a famous picture by Titian. The lady with the fruit, the lady with the bowl. People used to think it was the daughter of Titian who was uh, posing it. There is a debate about who the character is. Um, there's no point in me going over that because if you look it up, or we'll go on the website we have where it's for sale, you'll see enough text to keep you going for months from me and other, other, other people who, who have these pictures. Now, have these pictures at these two where we go next. This original painting is a second edition, a copy of an earlier painting. So Titian painted the original and then somebody had it copied. It's a commercial thing. People have them copied. In fact, just looking at the frame, I haven't noticed before, but it says, <laughs> it says the copy of Titian. Someone's put a little bit of uh, paper on with uh, ink, an inked message. Anyway, so it says Titian, and it's a, it's a what would be normally called a Victorian copy. Now, I suspect this isn't a Victorian copy. I think this is, this is too good. There's two reasons I think it's too good. The frame is too good and early, and the quality of the painting is spectacular. The quality of the painting currently is masked by a varnish. You can see it's yellowy. Uh, beneath the yellowiness lies a really, really well painted picture. Now on the, on, on the website we've got better pictures. It's not in a very bright place where I, where I have it hanging at the moment. And if you have it cleaned, you're going to get very, very bright reds, fruits, colours, flesh, flesh colours, the robes, the white, the jewellery and the gold. The, the, the sky will be bright blue, the clouds. So you know where, where I'm going. Um, the colour will, will be better. The, the, the picture is, is has, a, has a fairly even crackle to it. If you um, wet it with water, you'll see the colour changes. And this is towards the appearance it will have if, if it's restored. Except if it's restored, it will be brighter. So you'll see that there's a lot of mileage here if you're so inclined to have this thing cleaned. I don't think it's a difficult cleaning job. I think the, the, the varnish will be shellac, which is a natural material, uh, fairly easily removed with meths. I think if it's a, a commercial varnish, which is less likely, it can still be removed. And because there's not any flaking, there's, there might be some flaking, little bits, but because it's all there and it's quite a good canvas, um, it's, 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 it is a pos fairly possible easy job. Not an easy job because it's a big picture. Um, and um, the, obviously you have to have someone do it who knows what they're doing. My, be my belief is the crackling will disappear once it's cleaned and once the varnish is gone and it's oiled and it's refinished. So what you'll get is, is a quite a large picture. Now the reason things early is because this frame, if you took the picture out of it, I would be saying to you that's an 18th century, 18th century frame. If it was in England, I'm from England, if it was in the south of England, they would say that is an 18th century frame. It could be 1840. It could be region. So you've got a laurel, you've got an egg and dart, you've got, you've got, you've got a scroll. Yes, but I think that the condition of it and the decay really pushes it back somewhat. It's not just because it's damaged, it's, this is old damage, it's time damage. So it's a wooden frame. These are carved wooden petals. These are not applied gesso panels all stuck together. It's carved wood, it's got gesso wiping, it's got gold leaf, water gilded. The gold leaf has crackled and come away. It's had water damage. The gesso has deteriorated. The mitres have opened out. So it's in not in good condition, but it's in a very, very appealing, distressed condition. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to leave the picture as it is. If you put it in a dark room, it's going to look pretty boring. If you put it in a well-lit area, a large area, I think you can get away with it. Do you want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds of them stored. Some people will, some people won't. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm not going to regild the frame. Cost you much. I think it's a nice frame. It's actually got dust on it. We're going to leave it as it is.
This is not a, this is not something you can buy. This is not something you can reproduce. This this type of real distressing. Okay, so the, the website has lots of information. It's a big picture, lovely frame. The frame, if it was sold on its own, would be worth a lot of money. A nice mirror, etc., etc. We have a lot of Titian paintings, Titian style paintings. We've got the Three Graces by Titian, a copy, and we have a, another one or two Victorian copies of Titian painting. You do see them, there's a lot on the internet. They're not rare. This particular painting on the internet at the moment, there's three or four of them. Some are better than this, most are worse than this, some are smaller than this. That's a lovely thing to own. Will the price rise? Traditionally, these copies were frowned upon by the trade. Indeed, now, in Malta, they're still frowned upon. Collectors don't want them, they despise them. They can't afford to buy the originals, but they still have this disdain of these copies. Yes, in the market, when it comes to a print from Victor Passmore or Hearst, where you have a limited edition, one of 500, it's no problem, I'll buy a print. And this isn't even a print, it's a painting. It's a painting after the, the original, and after it would be painted by Titian. I think these are nice things to have. I think if you go over this idea of snobbery in the art trade, um, you, you can buy it for its decorative value. There is some historical uh, value to it. As I say, lovely frame. How many more years are you going to be able to buy one of these pictures? How many more years is, is there before they're all sold? All in museums, all in offices, all in collections. So they're not free, they're not, there are a lot of them around, but they're not coming onto the market all the time. That's a very good one. The pearls are fantastic, for example. Thanks for looking in.